international television market, MIB TV paid tribute to the 50 shows that helped shape the history of television over the last five decades in commemorating their 50th anniversary. The list included four Japanese shows among internationally emblematic shows, three of the four shows having a common characteristic, all of which are anime and broadcast on Fuji TV. Les Occidentaux pensent Japon et télé, ils pensent animation japonaise. Courage, un imaginaire de, de valeur, d'affirmation, de, qui, qui, sont, qui, sont, qui sont, à mon avis, bonnes pour les enfants. Airing on TV since 1963, Astro Boy was a breakthrough hit, establishing a stable position in the history of TV anime. Supergiant robot Grandizer was broadcast from 1975, redefining the world of anime and captivating children across the globe. And finally, the most modern of the three anime is... Dragon Ball, another popular anime that aired on Fuji TV from 1986 in Japan. Even now, years after the broadcast has ended, the series retains a strong fan following. This spring, a new Dragon Ball movie was released. Its audiences surpassed 2 million within a month after its opening. To her surprise, its influence extended to outside of Japan. Akihabara, the holy ground for Japanese anime. Tourists visiting from outside of Japan tell us... They, they aired it in France, so we have a Dragon Ball, mm -hmm. Dragon Ball Z, GT, okay. and we like it very much. It's Vegeta, Goku, Gohan, <laughs> I know all of wow. them. That was one of my favorite cartoons when I was a kid. Oh really? Okay. You know Dragon Ball has been broadcast in over 40 countries worldwide. Why is it admired by so many international fans? <laughs> a lot of think, uh, a lot of people uh, know uh, Kamehameha and uh, like this uh, in, in, France? in France. Yes, yes, uh, in the world. Uh, uh, <laughs> It seems like everyone is familiar with an attack called Kamehameha, popularized by the main character, Son Goku. Even Fuji TV's evening news program, Super News, picked up on this Dragon Ball phenomenon. Therefore, we took it upon ourselves to find out if Kamehameha was really a universal language. Just like the seven Dragon Balls spread out into the world, our team set out to investigate the situation. First off is the Land of Smiles, Thailand. こちらにずらっと並べられた日本の漫画、これで忘れて大語に訳して売られてるものです。そしてありました。ドラゴンボール、これも大語です。It's obvious that fans here love it too. And how about that attack? It's as if they are Son Goku himself. Even further away in Germany. Son Goku for life, yeah? So must that sign. Ich bin Dragon Ball Profi. How about those in the Middle East? Ka me ha me ha. Egypt is no exception. All around the world, people are familiar with Kamehameha. 
In fact, it may be one of the most popular Japanese words. In France, there is even a couple united through Dragon Ball. France 在住の筋金入りのドラゴンボールマニアステファニーさんとロイックさんのお部屋に今お邪魔しています。数々の漫画やカードを入れたコレクションの本などが所狭しと並ばれています。This couple has been big Dragon Ball fans since they were young and came to know each other through a fan club. <laughs> Within their flat lies various books and cards in Japanese. When asked about the appeal of Dragon Ball, Il y a un côté aventure, il y a, il y a un univers qui est très vaste sur Dragon Ball. Il y a... Au Japon, ça se voit que c'est travaillé, que c'est une science, quoi, presque. Once again, we are confronted with Dragon Ball's renowned status. Mr. Takagi, president of Toei Animation, the production company of Dragon Ball, says. Kaigai dato muzukashi in janai kana っていう ima made ne kimochi ga sugu tsuyo katta yona kiya suru nde ma so itta koto fushuku suru yona sakuin zukuri ittu na motto motto tsuyo ku shite ikana kiya kenai kana tiyu ni omoimasu ne. Dragon Ball has crossed borders, bodies of water, and even generational walls. It's an anime that continues to be loved by the world. Okay now, are you ready?